there are two urns, urn A and urn B. Let's draw them. There's A, and here's urn B. In urn A, there's one black ball and two white balls. So here's the black ball, and here are the white balls. And in urn B, there are uh, oh, one black ball and two white balls. In urn B, there are two black balls and one white ball. So we have one white ball and two black balls. You have blue and yellow if they show up better here. So we toss a fair coin, and if it is heads, we select from urn A until you see a white ball. So white is yellow here. And if it's tails, we select from urn B with placement until we see a white ball. So we flip a coin, and if it's heads, we select from urn A, and if it's tails, we select from urn B. Okay, so what is the probability that, or what is the chance that the coin is heads, given that we selected five balls? So that means we got uh, black, 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 white, or with our fun pictures, black, 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 black white. All right. So how do we do this? Well, first, let's work out the conditional probabilities. So let A be the event that we selected urn A. So selected selected urn A and let B be the event that we selected B. Selected B. Okay. So then we have this sequence. So let's just call this sequence, uh, let's give it a name. Uh, let's call it S. So what is the probability of S given A? Well, the probability of S given A is we've gone over here and there's one black ball, and there's two white balls. So the probability of a black ball on each draw with replacement is one third, right? So these are all independent. So we can say this is one third, one third to the fourth times two thirds. And the probability of S given B is two thirds to the fourth times one third because we have two white balls in there. All right, let's just put parentheses over here. So we have these conditional probabilities, and we know that the probability of heads, so if H is the probability that the coin is heads, that's a half. So that's a half. All right, let's just clean this up a little, make sure that clear that we're talking about a set, an event. All right, so what are we asking? We're saying, what is the chance that the coin is heads given that five balls are selected? So the question is asking, the what is the probability that we flipped ahead given that we saw event S? Well. Here is a perfect time for Bayes' rule because we don't know how to we don't know how to do this intuitively, but we do know what do we know? We do know the probability of S given H, right? Because the probability of S given H is the same as the probability of S given that we selected urn A. Now that's times the probability of heads, which is just the probability of selecting urn A, divided by the probability of S. So what is the probability of S? Well, there we're going to use the law of total probability, because S is the, this sequence that we got in our space, right? And so we have S, say, Let's see, uh, oops, 
say this is S over here, this sliver of our space, and we either land it in A or B, and it's going to be a different probability for each of them. This is not drawn to scale, obviously. We either ended up in uh, A, say A is over here, and then maybe B is this guy to the left and up of the diagonal line. So let's say, what is the probability of S? So the probability of S, we use the law of total probability, and that's just the probability of S and A plus the probability of S and B, right? You can see that from here. And then we just expand this using our multiplication factorization for probabilities. So that's the probability of S given A times the probability of A plus S probability of S given B times the probability of B. Well, the probability of A and B are just the chances of getting heads and tails on that coin, so they're both a half. So we take out the half. So we have a half out front, right, because this is a half, this is a half. And then we have times, well, S given A, that's one-third to the fourth times two-thirds, and then S given B, that's two-thirds to the fourth times one-third. All right. And remember that heads in selecting A uh, correspond to the same event. So let's just factor out a little more. Each of these has a uh, one-third and a two-third. So we have a half times a third times two-thirds. And then in here we have one-third cubed, right? Because we took a two-third and a one-third out of here. And then we took a two-thirds and a one-third out of here. And we get two-thirds cubed. So now we're just doing some algebra so that we can complete this Bayes rule expression up here. All right. So, and we'll just simplify in a minute. So we have this. All right, let's expand. Let's uh, complete this inner term first. So we have a half, a third, and then we have two thirds, and then three cubed is 27. So we have one over 27 plus eight over 27. And this is just gonna be nine over 27. So that's a third, another third. So we have half, a third, two thirds, and a third. And let's, we're not gonna multiply this through yet because we're gonna go back up here and we're going to say, okay, well, I know that P of S given A and P of A, I have a half, I have a third, I have a two-thirds in there. So there we have a half times a third times two-thirds. And then we have one over three cubed. And then down here, we have all this stuff, and this is going to cancel. So we have a half, a third, two thirds, and another third. And now we have some magic cancellation. This goes away, 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 and this becomes a two. So we're left with equals to one over nine. So the probability that we picked from urn A, given that we saw four black balls and then a white ball is one over nine, because this one 
we, we had a two-thirds chance of getting white. This one we had a one-thirds chance of getting white. So the odds of being any turn went from 50-50 to something much smaller than that because it would have been much less likely to get four black balls from this turn before getting a white ball since it was twice as likely on each step to get a white ball. And so this is our final answer.